Hi, everyone. We're here, and we're playing Seven Days to Die. Ian's joining me. Ian, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm digging a trench. Great. And if you've come over here from the Dumb Around the Monitor stream, then welcome to watching us instead of them. Uh, also joining us is Zach in about an hour, but for now, his portrait's down there because I didn't feel like uh, switching to my other layout. Um, because it's not set up properly right now. Regardless, we're playing Seven Days to Die, uh, and my plan, I was kind of, man, I wanted to play this game very badly yesterday. And Me too. I wanted to play it today, and I was like, it's just the guilt of hopping on the server and time ticking away just yeah. kept me off of it. Um, that's, I can admit, that's, that's kind of a big downside to this game. It's almost like why have dedicated servers at all if you're really gonna i don't want to say punish but if if it's hard to play by yourself yeah i mean <clears throat> come to think of it the real reason we did it the last time was because zach's connection was bad if one of us hosted it like on the mm -hmm. east coast um so like with this server like i selected i think st louis was the halfway point san luis bespo st louis bespo yes, what is that yes. Uh, i don't even know what you're referring to I don't even know myself anymore. Um, I did log on yesterday quick to just go and get my backpack back from the uh, flaming zombie. Well, that's about it. Oh, that's good. Um, okay, so plans as far as... I gotta get this zombie guy over here. We need to uh, make a structure that allows us to get it in and out fairly easily. Um, well, I already have the two... Two of the corners have stairs in and out. Yeah, I, I'm just thinking of setting up like a just like a walk in and out that works a little bit better. Um, yeah, that's fine. And then uh, we also like we can set up a moat that we can lower during the day and raise at night, or uh, not not yeah, a moat, a drawbridge. Nice. And then uh, the only thing uh, you're digging the hole right now, and we'll fill that with spikes, and then we'll build a lip on the wall so we can shoot things. Yep, working on the the pit right now. Cool. So I'm going to go... I don't think it's going to be done by tonight, though. No, I don't think so either. But we can get a, at least a bit of it. Yeah, this is looking good. Yeah, I would, I would dig... and um, We can uh, dig and rebuild these other spikes uh, towards yeah. the end. Okay, I'm going to collect some wood. Do do things float if you dig under them? Uh, no, stuff falls. Okay, grab. Right, I'll just repair it if it falls. Well, I just wasn't sure. You know, wonky Minecraft physics. Yeah, this one has gravity. Uh, so will other? You know, we talked about the 38 before the stream and how we were both unable to buy one. What about PS5? Any luck on that front? No, um, although I haven't tried since I think the last time we chatted. Um, I really haven't stayed there on top a, of it. Yeah, there's a, there was a queue that went up today. Um, and like PlayStation Store is pretty good at that. They, they, they run up a queue and they let you know messages. They're like, hey, PS5s are in stock. Uh, just wait your turn. And then they have a countdown. And it's happened to me twice now where it gets down to like less than 10 minutes before I let in. And then they run out of PS5s. So I got close today. But not close. Quite. Yeah, that's probably the most frustrating part. I mean, I get it. Like, it's hard to make things in this sort of environment right now. Yeah. But kind of crazy. I'm uh, working two. on the railroad. All of the yes, I did update XP gains um, nice. to make this go a little bit faster. So, is there an end goal to this? Um, like a personal end goal or a game end goal? Well, I just I, let's start with a game end goal because, like in Minecraft, it's like beat the Ender Dragon, whether you actually pay attention to that or not. I don't. I don't actually know if there's an end goal in this game. Um. As far as personal, I at least want us to like do the first night survival, the, our first like horde, 
would be fun to yeah. see. Um, and depending on how far that goes, we can uh, kind of figure stuff out from there. Oh, I have 13 feathers. I need to make more stone arrows. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do... I'm going to craft. Wow. One hundred. We've got a big uh, Rust fan in the chat here. Oh, yeah, we should go play the hit video game Rust. You know, I, I've never played Rust, even though I feel like... I'm not saying I would enjoy it, but I, I did like Gmod. Um... I don't think I've ever... I've seen uh, Giant Bomb play it. Rust or Gary's Mod? Uh, Rust. We do, should do some Gary's Mod streams. I want to do like Trouble and Terrorist Town and stuff. Yeah. But the problem is we gotta... We <laughs> have the people. A community. Yeah. Oof. Um, Chris, I'm sorry for rudely interrupting your uh, dumb stream. Got him. Okay, I'm just trying to get at least the spikes filled in where we currently have the pit dug. Um, yeah, Gmod's good stuff. <laughs> hey, you can't use F words in the chat. That doesn't count. <laughs> um, okay. Um, other than that, last two days, how you been, buddy? Ah, oh, pretty good. I've been playing uh, a bunch of Rim World. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm uh, the colony's doing pretty well. I'm I'm trying to set up for my holiday video. I have I'm writing two. I'm writing one, but the other one's part of like a playthrough thing. I'm working mm -hmm. on that. I'm gonna film a bunch of stuff on Saturday. Um, yeah, it's going pretty well. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do for my holiday video. You know, I was thinking about doing something about, we typically do like the year in review, either like my favorite things of the past year or like best games of the year. And I feel like I just don't wanna talk about 2020. And not because I'm like 2020 sucks, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like a lot of people are gonna be doing that joke about like, here's the good things from 2020 or top 10 worst things that weren't COVID about 2020. You know, yeah. But everybody's talking about 2020 as a year and I don't wanna do anything related to the year, but that's gonna make it. You know, that's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. And then that kind of limits me. It's like, okay, well, what's my holiday video going to be? So, I don't know. Yeah, I'm doing one. I'm doing a, a very specific, like, designed playthrough of RimWorld and seeing where that goes. Mm -hmm. And then my other one is just, like, a top thing I did this year. But I'm... Uh, I guess I can say this here because nobody watches these. I'm doing like a fake fireside chat, like with a big leather chair and a crackling fire, and oh. like pretending to read from a, a big old storybook. So I think that'll that be pretty. Cool. That'll be pretty funny. Um, I'm gonna shoot that Saturday on the green screen. Um, I think that'll look pretty cool. Yeah. That'll look real good. <gasps> Level two, baby. Is is like food and stuff and and thirst turned on? Uh, I th it should be. Maybe it's not. I remember having. I, I was watching some guides and they were like, "Watch your stamina, etc." I mean, your thirst and all this, and I was like. Oh think i've had any problems uh we're protected from even... heat and cold until level six okay what is my character stuff? but there should be thirst and stuff i don't even where do you see the thirst stuff i don't even see it on me it should be in your character sheet but do i not even have that stuff turned on oh just a reminder to party let's leave it off i hate that stuff yeah, we can leave it off. Uh, okay. I'm gonna build this this way. Do this. All 
Oh, you know what I do need to do is I need to start reading. Well, I have started reading, but I need to start really digging into Curse of Strahd. Oh, yeah. I um. Oh, I told you I finished Dune. It was pretty good. Good book. Dune? Dune. Dune. Oh, Dune. 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 Dune's good. Dune's yeah, good. I enjoyed it. Um. Also, uh. Literally. Uh, oh, to update you with quick resume on uh, the Xbox Series X, it's been great with... Uh, I've been playing through Fallout 3 again, and literally, mm -hmm. like, I save Fallout 3, uh, go back to the home game, and, like, a week and a half later, load it up, and it loads exactly where I was without having to load the save. It's, and it's like... It's great stuff. I'm, like, so... I'm surprised every time, because it's like, I've unplugged it, I've moved it somewhere else... Like, yep. all that sort of stuff, so. It's At least with that stuff, it's been running really well. Um, um, I, I'm, like, in this weird spot where I was, like, I know I'm playing Cyberpunk next Thursday, and I was, like, I should really find a game to play in the meantime. And then I was, like, well, what should I play? And, like, oh, but I don't have a lot of time. And I've gotten to the point where I have just not started playing anything, so. <laughs> yeah, I... The, that Dragon Quest Eleven is coming to Game Pass. <sighs> on yeah. the fourth and i'm like oh i should finally get into that like i heard it's a really good game it's like that'd be yeah. fun to play and then chris was like yeah you know cyberpunk comes like six days after that i'm like crap i think um, about doing doom eternal but i didn't really like doom 2016 that much and people that like 2016 say eternal's not good so i'm just like yeah maybe i'll give it a shot but still i'm like i i started it and i love 2016 uh, I mean, not as much as the uh, like everyone, but I really enjoyed playing it. And I started mm -hmm. Eternal, and I haven't gone back to it because it's it's too. As someone who has officially played every Doom game, it is yeah. Doom is fun when you just run around and kill things and like figure out the map. Yeah. And that game is like run around, kill things while also constantly thinking about how I, how you need to get more ammo, more armor, more health, and like oh, it, it never much. stops. And it's really yeah. annoying. You know, honestly, my big problem with um, Doom 2016 was that all of their encounters were the same in terms of it was always like, walk into an area. There are enemies. Um, there, there are enemies. Kill those enemies. More spawn. Kill enemies. More spawn. Kill enemies. More spawn. Okay, you cleared the area. Go to the next area. You know yeah. what I mean? And I, I really got tired of that. Like four or five missions in. Where it was, it was just like trigger the four or five wave based encounter constantly um and i i just got sick of that yeah that makes sense something about those original games are is real good like i was starting to play some wads and stuff because i just wanted to play more that looks cool man what if they what if they did a doom remake That'd be you cool. know what i mean I, I guess it wouldn't count as a remaster, but you know, where it's it's like they did with Demon Souls is not the right one. Because even something like Spyro or Crash is not the right thing. It's like, because you would really have to, well, I guess you could because it was still 3D. You know, just like up the graphics. That's pretty much it, right? Maybe yeah. streamline the levels. I, I don't want to say change the levels, but maybe I remember some of the levels you're like running around just trying to find the right door maybe if they touched it up a little bit so they could do kind of like a directional thing where it's more obvious in the, in the level where you're supposed to go um but after that i think you would be good to just play those games all over again you know what i mean just like an unreal engine 5 remake of the original doom yeah you're you're digging one block away right yeah yeah, there's a there's a block between the wall and the spikes. Cool. Right. Yeah. I'm just digging over here. This is where I'm gonna build like the gate and everything over on this side. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I barely have one corner done. Um, I'm just trying to prep up because night's about to come, so I'm just trying to gather some resources. Oh, smart. I get more wood. Yeah, I'm gonna get wood. Thinking about it. Cut 
Ding tree. Yeah, I, um, I started playing Satisfactory a bit. That was fun. Um, it's like neat. I just got like coal power, so I was like doing stuff with that. But I'm like playing. I'm forcing myself to play it casually. Um, oh yeah. Just because I don't want to really get into it, especially already really being in the Rim World. Um, yeah. I don't need two of those types of games, and then cyber also Cyberpunk coming out soon. Um, which I, we talked about this yet uh, two days ago. I'm getting it for Xbox. Same uh, here. And I'm hoping no way I'm going to get an RTX card in time. Hoping that New Zealand trick works on next Wednesday. It, it will. It should, right? They they released a map, but the map was PC and Stadia only. Yes, but they said something about the Xbox, and I think it was. I think it was midnight. Yeah, all consoles are midnight local time. So if you switch your yeah, local time to New Zealand, um, I think you should be good. I know Sony and Nintendo usually lock that stuff down, but Microsoft is the one you can kind of get away with. Do that though, you know. Well, I kind of want to play on. I mean, there's no harm to it. Yeah, that's true. I just want to play on Thursday night and not have to wait. I mean, I'm going to wait up till midnight anyways. Well, no, it's it's a Thursday release. I know. I'm saying... Oh, sorry. Wednesday night at midnight. I'm going to do that regardless. Yeah. Well, I took off Thursday, so... Oh, uh, see. Yeah. I could just take a day so off. I'll just, I'll just I, wake up and play it. I contemplated taking the Friday off uh, because it's the... Uh, Hanukkah starts the Thursday night. The Friday mm -hmm. would be the second coming of Hanukkah. I think that's how Judaism works. Um, and I was thinking of asking for it off with saying because of my girlfriend and <laughs> seeing if my boss just gives me holiday pay. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I'm not sure yet. <laughs> hey, what you I'm doing in there? I'm just beating stuff up. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna work on the wall some more. Um, I'm gonna go hang out on the roof and eat dinner. Okay. Um, what else have I been doing? So do I just lose all that? Or I guess it's on the ground now. Okay. Um, I saw Cave Story Plus is free right now on Epic Game Store, so I. I I got that and I'm I installed it. I maybe I'll give that a shot because I, I I always thought it was just this weird little game, but so these threads recently about people saying like how how much it didn't like inspire them as indie game devs and all this stuff. Oh, so I don't know. I um yeah, there are a couple other games I bought. Uh, Under Rail I bought, which is a very much like a follow uh, Fallout one and two type game mm -hmm. uh, which I thought uh, there was a Seth Tech video on it which and then it was on sale so I got that I really want to get back into Outward because I, I enjoyed what I played of that game and it's also fully co-op local and online I thought of like trying to form some sort of game around that and then uh, they announced that that was it Saga Saga Legacy or whatever remaster? It's like some PS1 RPG that or Sega Saturn one that everyone's crazy about, which got me into a feeling that I wanted to set up some sort of endurance run of a crappy, not a crappy, but like a lesser known SNES Saturn PS1 uh, RPG and just like play as much as we can. And just release live to tape, you know? But I was... I got down a rabbit hole of, like... Every list you try to look up just lists the, like, good ones and the, like... The super niche ones. And you can't... It's hard to find, like, the crap. But I kind of fell off that. But yeah, Under Rail and then... Something else I picked up. Can't quite remember. Um, oh, I actually I meant to send it to you. It's I'll, I'll look up the name uh, when I have a second, but it is 
this early access game. It was on GOG uh, is where I saw it. But it's, it's got an itch page and there's a demo. But you, it's a city builder. It's basically RimWorld on a more of like city scale. But there's still individual people. And then you also command armies and like go to battle. And it's all in like kind of like 3D pixelated art top down. Um, it's like it's like Solar Suns or something. I gotta look it up now because I'll go crazy. Um, I saw it. Gigi tweeted it the other day, and it looked very cool. Uh, Gog dot com. Be on my way. dot com. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, yeah, I've been like, it's weird, like being older and like rediscovering kind of what genres you're really into and like learning it more. Like I, I never thought I'd be into roguelites, roguelikes, and then I was really into it. And then also mm -hmm. like being like, oh, I used to think I always hated management games. And then now I'm like super in the rim world, but I'm like, I don't like. Uh, is it macro management? Like, I I'm not that big into, like, SimCity and stuff like that. I like when I can control individual people and go and tell them what to do. Which is All I'm hearing is we, we need to play The Sims. Yes, exactly. Which is kind of why I think I like RimWorld, at least right now, more than Dwarf Fortress. Is because um, in Dwarf Fortress, as far as I feel, I feel like it's harder to, like tell one person to go do something versus RimWorld. It could just be strictly UI. RimWorld, I can just click click the person, right click and be like, yeah. go do this right now. Prioritize this. Um, anyways, the game was called Songs of Six. Uh, and it looks really cool. I sent you the link, Ian. Um, I'll throw the link in chat too so people can check it out. Got it. I thought it looked really neat. Um, especially, I think it's a probably one person development so. yes love those um, place in blocks okay I can't remember if light attracts zombies in this game I looked it up it's light creates heat and heat like the heat map determines where the zombies go and how many there are gotcha so they said, if you can, make candles instead. Oh. Uh, there was like half a second where I thought you were doing a bit. I looked it up. Light no. makes heat, and heat can get shoved up your butt. <laughs> Got him. I really want to break these, but... Got a lot of... Oh, you know what? That gives me stone, so maybe it is worth it. I'm going to be here for a while. Um, what else is there? Uh, oh, I, I didn't mention this on uh, Tuesday. I Did you see that HP monitor deal? It was $99 for two monitors. No, what were they, like 24-inch 1080s? It was 21.5-inch 1080s. They were Samsung SE 450s. Um, yeah, that's not bad. So I bought four of them. And saved $700. They're like the... They're, they're meant for, like, businesses. They're $99 for two? Yeah, it was 99 for two. I bought four. Well, you dirty asshole, you should have let me know. Because <laughs> I, I have... Two of mine are, two, one, one of my monitors is a 16 by 80 that is 10 years old. Yeah. Another of my monitors is 1280 by 1024 that is literally 16 years old. <laughs> so, yeah, I bought those. The only, it's not a downside. They're only DisplayPort, VGA, and DVID. But also, like, that's fine. Yeah. The, it's the built in, like, the, 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 the whole thing's rotatable, so I'm, I think I'm going to do one vertical. I, I've i thought about that, and I've tried that before, and you just... 
There's really no point unless you're like coding. Well, I, really I was going to do it for the text. studio one vertical, just to have like chat on. Oh, you can do something. chat. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's that was. Good. But and I, I have two for Is home. Is that deal still live? I th I don't think so. Piece of shit. <laughs> Oh, uh, I should have told you. I'm sorry. <laughs> George bought two. <laughs> um, I did. A, I ordered them on a toilet. I saw the deal. <laughs> I was like, ah. <laughs> you see that weird zombie climbing on the rock to the south? No. The one, the big rock just south of the wall. Was he climbing? He up? may have moved. He was just like climbing all over the ground. And then he like crawled yeah. up on top of the rock. I'm slowly block. breaking a uh, block. I want to replace it with wood. Nope. Oh! I got you covered. I made all my wood fall because I broke a block. Oh, I don't see it falling. We're still up there. No, no, no. I made two pieces of wood fall. I don't know if this has the shift Minecraft thing. Oh, or you can peek? Yeah, I don't think so. Peek in a poke? Peek in a poke in a piggy! Oh, I'm hungry. In game. Hey, well. Yeah. Just between you and me. Sometimes Maggie makes like authentic chinese food and, it's and just... sometimes it's it's not good <laughs> i'm gonna tell her you said that oh man i have had this kelp before it's nasty <laughs> oh god get it back in this ain't a good meal no it's not a good meal yeah, Karen made uh, stir fry tofu with like cabbage in it for meal prep this week. So good, Ooh. with lots of vegetables in it. I I love tofu. When you just when you embrace it as a thing, not as like some sort of meat substitute or anything, it is delicious. Well, it depends on how you use it. Sometimes, like when people put like the really soft tofu in soup. It's like, why is this in here? I can't yeah. pick it up. It's just going to. Um, you ever had, um, what's it called? Fried tofu? Yes. Yeah, so like the little fried balls. Karen um, either cubes it or she's been uh, slicing it like really, really thin and mm. uh, fries it in a cast iron and then like put sauce on it. It's really good. Ooh. Yeah. This time she baked it. It was very good. Now that's disgusting. Yeah, I said, get out of here, you piece of trash. And hey, can you do me a favor real quick? Yeah, what do you need? Uh, get out of here, you piece of trash. <laughs> get out of here, you donkey. Yeah, donkey, 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 honky, honky. <laughs> I'm sorry about him. <laughs> he just loves saying donkey. How do I make... Do I have to unlock stairs? I think I do. The technology of stairs needs to be unlocked. Reminds me, I gotta finish my Christmas shop. Oh, I did. Oh, I can't. Hi, Zach. Me liking tofu? It's so it's so tasty. It's like so deliciously tasty. Hey, that hit you? Almost. Oh, <laughs> like landed between my legs. There's an excavator over there. Yeah, it's very well built. I guess I should help you do stuff, I guess. If you want, if you have any wood on you, you can complete, complete these frames behind me. Nah, I use them for spikes. I'm just going to keep dismantling in here. Okay. Is there is there a nice storage system other than crates? Because um, I think I've just always been spoiled by the Sky Factory system. I can't remember. There, There might eventually be something else, but I think we just assigned crates last time. Oh, assign crates? Like, uh, like this is the crate for wood, this is the crate for but Man, we should do Sky Factory again. Is 
the next time they do like a big update to that we should jump back in yeah the only thing is that i feel like i'm not gonna say it's gonna be exactly the same but i want to do the sky factory mod set but a different setting yeah well the the thing is the guy who makes it every time he does a new update he changes the way you do everything that makes sense yeah but i i didn't really care so much about the progression you know what i mean yeah that's true but it's like it's always usually different mods yeah but like i mean like it would be cool to do one where it's the you know just stupid ideas like it's all it's small sky islands with like 100 blocks between them oh yeah like a lava one or where you're you're in that city sphere world you know yeah These mods were great though yeah they were really cool daddy likey yeah we got a lot of iron which is great probably start building some crazy stuff soon yeah we can start i think we have to research building um like a smithy uh, let me check under intellect advanced blacksmither oh no maybe not What's it called? Smithy. Let's see it. Workbench. You need advanced engineering and a workbench schematic. Oh, yeah. So we need to go looting for a workbench schematic. We do have that workbench next door, though. Yeah. Let's see what we need to make candles. I am almost level three. I am now level three. Plant fibers and animal fat. Boop. Boop. Oh, that reminds me. Yeah, now that I'm higher level, I should. There was one that people recommended a perk, and it was something where you you have a chance of picking up more material slash higher level material. That's sexual tyrannosaurus. Pretty sure. Wait. No. Sexual oh no! Sorry, not that. Minor sixty nine. Is maximizing your ironing efforts by increasing tool. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, that's different. It could be mother load. Harvest more resources and bring home the mother load. I think this was like you find stuff. Yeah, lucky looter. You've got a slim chance to find better loot. And looting is 10% faster. Okay. I'm going to grab a, one of those. I have two, one point available. Oh, you can just upgrade straight, like, fortitude, perception, strength. Oh, I need to eat food. My character is Oh, hungry. yeah, I need some forged iron. So there's... Oh, and then the, it shows all the books, too. Yeah. So when you level up, it's just skill points, right? Is there anything else I need to like? No, it's just, yeah, just skill points. Okay. Um, and that's me saying that confidently until we discover that there's something else. Is it daytime? What is daytime? Yeah, I'm eating food. Should we start a garden? I've got some seeds and stuff. Yeah, I, did you look up how to do that? Because I can't remember. No, I'll look it up real quick. Let's see. Farming. Oh, also, if you go to your character page, 
And in the top left corner, instead of worn equipment, you click over to the bars. Core character stats. That's yeah. where it shows you food and water and everything. That's going down slowly. Yeah, it's usually pretty quick. Or pretty slow. And then you can eat food. It used to be different. It used to have the daisy things where it showed it to you. Mm hmm. Okay, that's fixed. Um, yeah, we can set up. I'm going to clear this thing. Actually, if you want where this ground is dug out, we can put a garden there. Well, I think I think I need a gardening hoe and I don't oh. have. We'll get Maggie to play. Wow. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I can dig out the ground here and make. Yeah, see how it's already dug here? Yeah, yeah, I was going to expand that. Cool. But it's, it says I need gardening hoe. You also, I think you need like fertilized ground or something. Oh, it says fertilizer. Yeah, I think fertilizer you place. So you might be able to dig that out and then place it so it's all up to the same level. Here, mm -hmm. I can't actually remember. Let me see. See, I don't even have these recipes. Yeah, that's what like the main looting stuff for is like finding recipes. All that Maybe we stuff. should go looting right now. What do you think? We can also go to the trader once Zach is here. Yeah, but um, he's here. We're gonna have another day cycle before he's here. True. Um, there is that building to our northwest that I was in where the lava zombie was that I think wasn't cleared out. What do you think? Should we try it? Yeah, we can go for it. Uh, let me just repair everything while I'm... Oh, I want a stone spear. How many plant fibers? Let me go get some. I'm going to make a stone sledgehammer. Dang it. Yeah. Achievement, Marco Polo. Nice. Oh, there's also that entire underground base that I didn't finish looting. Should we go do that? Yeah. Following you. Okay, let me equip this. Sledgehammer. Okay. You with me? It's a workbench yeah. in here too, which is nice. Destroyed though, so never mind. Oh, zombie. Two zombies. Coming out. Oh, no, you throw the spear? Three zombies. Oh, did uh, you throw it? I'm... Apparently, you can do that. Oh, that's awesome. There's a dog. There's a dog. Oh, no. That's a, that's a scary thing. That's a run Dead. for your life sort of thing. Dogs are terrifying in this game. Whoops. You still up or no? Yeah, I, I jumped on top of a car. Okay. Okay, 
He's dead. Breaking these tires so the dog can't get up here. Uh, there's the dog. Yeah, I can't believe I threw that spear. I, I did like the right click power attack. I didn't realize that would throw it. Oh, uh, I wasn't sure if it was just meant to be thrown. Oh, my zombie fell. Here, Pooch Pooch. There you are. Oh, I have a symbol for where my spear is. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Help me out over here. Yeah, I'm trying He's to shoot him. Nice. Nice, he's down. Oh, Zach's here. I'll invite him to the call. Uh, if you lean over, you can break those uh, tires. Hi, Zach. What is smaller oh, than a pixel? How did you get up pixel? here? A sub pixel. Wow, that's great. Can we use that? Yeah. Can we? Yeah. Can we buy that off you for a hundred thousand dollars? I mean, if you guys want, I was going to give it to you guys for free. Crap. Oh man, <laughs> those. Freaking buttholes. Oh, God. How's it going, guys? Bad. Good. Ian just died Real again. Bad. What happened? There was a dog. Oh, oh. Well, you know, this combat, combat in this game is not good. <laughs> combat, <laughs> it, good. It's comparable to DayZ. You just gotta, right. like, you always have to be moving, is the problem. Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. I died too. You gotta be you, moving and always hitting the head. Ian's more okay, of a planter. He likes to plant himself. Yes, because I thought that would be smart. Mm -hmm. But the problem is I can't reliably hit them to stun them or knock them back. So it's like, um, let's meet at the gate and then we'll all go rush over. Uh, what is the name of this? I'm just grabbing Zach's link quick. <sighs> I'm here. How are you, it's Zach? Cool time. I'm good. You know, uh, it's busy. It's the holiday season, so Etsy is going well. Uh, I wake up to new orders because apparently people order in the middle of the night like weirdos. Nice. Sounds right. I'm not complaining, though. How are you guys? You know, pretty good. Yeah. Hanging out. I got a lot of Etsy orders, so, you know, wake up to those. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you know. I make... I make uh, replica penises of fictional characters. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's funny. I heard that two ways. One is the obvious way, which is that like the penis looks like the character, and the other one is that you're making replicas of what you think their penis looks like. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. That's how I took it. A lot of studying. <laughs> A lot of 4K crotches. <laughs> Uh, just in general, you know? yeah. The John Ham piece costs more. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a ham. Well, I mean, it, it's just that much more material you have to use. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get over here, zombie. Come on. <laughs> uh, you see that? Nice. Oh I nope. Just... I can grab the spear out of him. There's zombies trying to get through the fence over here. Yay! Wow, we got a lot of XP for that. Oh, do I have to rejoin you guys? You hitting me? No, I was hitting the body. Okay. Okay, this is the hole. So last time I was down here, there were no zombies down here. But this time, and now there are. There could possibly be zombies down here. Okay, gotcha. Oh, Zach, I'm gonna party up with you. Oh yeah. Checking this microwave.
Oh, that door is locked. I had some lock picks, but I put them in. I've the got lock picks on me. Oh yeah, right. bring those. I don't know how they work. You have to like have them in your hand, and then think about it really hard. Are you guys in the garage? Uh, so if you go you through go the, garage, the garage, the back of the scrapyard. If I recall correctly, those two zombies, those big, that one we fought upstairs is more powerful. Okay, it's back through the door. I was low on health. <laughs> okay, I've closed the door. Oh, you scared me. Oh, you butt. Careful, there's a zombie through there. Oh, yeah. Two zombies, right? I killed one. Wow, my name's Will, and I kill things. <laughs> for fun. <laughs> Just for fun. I need to make a bandage. Do you want to get through this door? They're all, oh yeah, open whatever you can. I think I've, there's, so if you go down, you can go up back into those rooms. I think I've been in those ones. Try holding E and selecting the pick lock. That's nice, so I actually don't use it, Zach. Go go to the middle of the room and come down with me. Oh, okay. Ow. Dead. So if you go so these lead right, up right. into those rooms. I gotcha. And I can't remember if I finished looting. Oh, this is the one that had a bunch of stuff in it. Oh, there's a lady. Oh, hey. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, yeah, there's another lady. There's a lot of people in there. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> there's too many people. We need to become more powerful. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of zombies out on the yard, too. Don't put your boots out with the yard, Ted. What are you guys doing? I gotta run back and get my stuff. So you guys are downstairs? Yep. Yeah. Well, I, I killed everyone. Right behind you. I think there's somebody above that ladder because they were trying to get through the door above. Oh, I grabbed all your stuff, Will. Thanks. Welcome. Going up? Yeah, there's a lady up here, I'm pretty sure. I see her. Yeah, she's, she's right here. I can hear you guys down there. She dead. Oh, it's a locked gun safe. Yeah, we need to break into that. Do we just break it? Yeah. I'm picking the lock. Nobody move. Okay. 14 seconds. Hey, Will, you know that time. Funny. I broke the pick lock. The pick lock. Lock lock pick. Dang. Oh, no, I've got I've got eight left. Nice. Um got it. I would just like my stuff when you get a chance. Oh, I don't have any of your stuff. What was in there? Okay. in there? I don't know. What What is yours, Will? Uh, I, as long as I can get my stone axe and bow and sledgehammer. How do I drop right click? I think it's no? D. You click on it. D's. Oh, yeah. I would like all that, too. So what else? Do you, what else do you want? Sledgehammer. There should be an uh, axe and a shovel. Bow. Yeah, arrows maybe. Actually, I didn't think I had any arrows. Uh, I need your help. Okay, coming. Um. So there are two zombies right on top of this ladder. Oh, they fell down. Oh, they fell down. down. Oh. Is there friendly fire in this? I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm 
Nice. Oh, yeah, I, I went up this ladder and there were two of them just hanging out there. It scared me. I think that's the box I had looted before. I got stuff out of it. Can't repair that. Two zombies up here. Let's party. Ow. That was painful. Oh, I'm dead. <clears throat> Hi, Maggie. Searching the toilet. We got water. Searching the cabinet. We got empty... Medicine cabinet? Painkillers. Okay. <clears throat> I think that's it oh, for that, that guy. Bunker, right? Where did he come from? Let's I think they finally. The I think they broke through that. Yeah. Oh, thanks. This guy dropped a whole bag. Oh, I died. That guy dropped steroids. Oh no! Ow! 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 He was still alive. Woo! Level four. Okay, coming to help you. I think we're mostly done with that complex, right? Yeah. Yeah, no friendly fire. Yep. I think there's another way. What about the door that was had the zombies in it? Oh, yeah. There's that way. Because there's no more zombies in here. They found another way This out. I know leads up. There was another way, I think, as well. Nothing in the trash can. Oh, yeah, this is what I couldn't figure out what it led to. Oh, yeah, we can do this. Yeah. We'll be done in no time. I'm very close to you guys. I like how this is only one of the things. Yeah, well, we can now go I'm through here. it. True. Zach, if you crouch, can you move up a little bit more? Yeah, but I'm not hitting the same thing anymore. Yeah, we're like a giant drill of death. Take that, steel. Diamond plate. It's the only thing diamond plate should be used for is trash. Got him. Hey. <laughs> Guess where we are. There we go. At least it's a faster way down. All right, let's go do some more looting. I think this next building is pretty good to loot. Which building? This tall one. Northwest? Or south? Across the street. Gotcha. That's not helping, but gotcha. <laughs> well, across the street from the garage. Because I went through it a tiny bit. <gasps> Guys, what if we did a Christmas-themed Brothers in Arma? Oh, kill Santa? Yeah, like in the snow. 
That's a good idea. Excuse me. That's a very good idea. Got a lot of motor oil. This place got burned. Oh. Guess those don't stand on those embers. They will burn you. Yes. spooky up there this is where that flame zombie was but I think he fell I hear something nope he's still here is he up top him? yep coming up oh no there's a lady too you want to back down yeah, yeah let's funnel him Oh, I'm level two. Nice. Oh, is he dead so? Dead so? Yeah, appear so. He just appear so, appear so. Yeah, he's dead. Is there any benefit to like hacking up corpses? Uh, I think you can oh, get zombies meat on from the them. zombies on the oh. roof. Come back. Kind of like the spear. There is an army zombie that door. up here. On the roof proper. There's another fire guy. Ow, Same ow. floor as the last one, but he's outside. There's two more. Oh, yeah. I, I jumped down. I'll come back and join you. Oh, I think I might die. I'm coming to help. Found some good loot, guys. Will, are you going to help us? There's two fire zombies. Yeah, oh, behind you, Zach. Yep. Oh, I'm gone. Backpack fell all the way down. That's kind of helpful. Okay, one's down. The other's still up. Yeah, I have six health, so I'm afraid. Yeah, Will's on a military guy, too. Yeah, I might have to jump off this roof. Oh, 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 I died. Uh, Ember guy fell all the way off the roof. Okay, maybe I'll go after military guy. Spawn on my bed. Oh, I keep. I don't know why I do that because it's on a roof. I lost track of military guy. Uh, military guy is on the ground. They're coming up through the house. Oh, okay. Oh, military guy and Ember guy are following me now. So now I'm going to run inside, grab my bag. Oh, you scared. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you ran scary. right past so me. I did. Yeah. Didn't even notice. Okay, I think they're out here now. Yep. Your, okay. Do you like your spear? Yeah, it's pretty nice. I, I, It's easier for me to get headshots because I feel like I'm pointed at them, you know? Yeah. I got an ACOG. And you can throw it if you want to, which is nice. And some good boots if you all want some boots. Oh, Zach, you should join our party so you can get XP. I thought I did. Oh, I'm about to die from military guy. There we go. If you guys could help me, please. Yep, come on. On our way. <laughs> One more <Last> hit. hit. <laughs> yep. I, I got all the way down to five. Ooh, okay. I'm going to go back up so we can check a little bit more. Yeah. What's the yeah, there's a shotgun crate. Yeah, I got the like the thing all the way at the top. Was there a shotgun crate all the way up there, Zach, you said? 
Yeah, up where the military guy killed me. Oh, because I only got the other crate. Let me check that. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's... I see. It's sealed. And it has a stone sledgehammer in it. Dope. Which is great for me because I've been using the stone sledgehammer. Day three. What fortifications have we done? Uh, I started building the outer wall. And okay. putting yeah, and like uh, twenty five percent down on the spike moat. Awesome. And I started doing those like ledge things, uh, where you can look out over. Nice. And then the the gate facing us is where I'm eventually. We should put the drawbridge. I think. Okay. I'm crafting wooden spikes right now. Okay. Uh, Ian, if you go down, there's a lot. Down, then up. Oh, there we go. Did you already do that bird's nest? Yeah, that stuff's all looted. Okay. Uh, I have some Karen's padded got a boots. Nice robe. Uh, thank you. He does have a nice robe. <laughs> You're welcome. She bought me a nice one too. Oh. Uh, who wants these pa uh These, I think they're scrap boots. I'm good. I think I'm going to go back and get going on the spike bit. I got a lot more to do on it. Okay. I'm going to keep... That all, or, if you uh, guys can grab some wood, though. Yeah, I'll do that now. Uh, that's kind of the thing that's slowing me down is constantly getting wood. and then. Yeah, that always slows me down. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The worst. Excuse me. Hey, nice tree. Thanks. Have you figured out how to plant trees? Nope. I swear there was some simple way to do it. I remember that one server we had. Had a lot of trees. Had lots of, we had planted like rows and rows of it. Oh, Zach, let me drop these for you. What is it, what is it to drop? Oh, it is D. You can just drag it. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, so are you uh, putting spikes in the moat, or am I still doing spikes around like the perimeter? We're, we're doing go both. Okay. Oh, we're going to do both? Well, there'll be spikes on the perimeter and down in the moat. Just as okay. they crawl gotcha. out of the moat, they'll still get more spikes. Gotcha. Okay, Zach, I'm going to let you do spikes. I'm just going to focus on digging. Okay. Cat's here. Hey, Atticus. Can you shut your mouth? I have to remember that uh, spikes hurt. Yeah. Yeah, they hurt a lot. I swear you used to be able to search zombies. You did. Okay, I thought it was crazy. I'm searching the nail salon where I just found bacon and eggs. Do you need to do it like you do animals where you, you use like a knife or a stone axe on them? And you that, get items as you're doing it. Was there a skinning knife? Some of the tutorials were talking about like use a knife when you're skinning animals. Because it's better. Oh, oh, you're gross. Why do you look like a robot? Oh, is that what I think it is? Coffee beans. Oh, I got a grave electric fence post schematic and a grave digger mod schematic. I hope that means the monster truck. Oh, Zach, did you uh did you watch the uh I don't even know what they're calling it anymore, whether it's the Bahrain or the Sakir Grand Prix. Did you watch that? Oh, I, I watched the crash. 
Oh god, that was that was crazy. That was insane. Because I oh. it just popped up on the Formula One subreddit, and I was like, everyone was talking about it, and I watched it, and yeah. I was I audibly went, "Oh my god!" Yeah, it was it was literally exploded. That was yeah. crazy. Um, yeah, I I was driving back from Florida when the race was happening, but I was mm-hmm. like, I'll be fine. I'll just I'll watch it later, and I won't go on Twitter. And I accidentally went on Twitter for two seconds, and the top post was just like, it was like Charles Leclerc being like. I'm so happy that Romain was safe today. Our sport is dangerous. And I was like, oh, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I knew something was coming, but, like, <laughs> turn three or turn four of lap one and his car explodes. Yeah. It's crazy. Was that the one that the the Halo thing is what saved him? Someone did, like, yeah. a 3D yes. model? Yeah, basically, he went through a guardrail, and he would have basically been decapitated yeah. if there wasn't yeah. a Halo. And then he, w- he also had to climb out through the flames. Yeah. Um, and they were talking about how they they had just replaced the fire safety suit with one that is rated for 20 seconds of fire protection instead of 10 seconds oh, but wow. they hadn't replaced the gloves yet and so that's why the only part on him that was damaged by mm-hmm. the fire were his his hands and his fingers Jeez. Uh, because he was in the fire long enough for the gloves to start to, to go through the fire resistant gloves but not the suit that's insane yeah, and then did you see that Lewis Hamilton tested positive for COVID? Yes, I did. And and George Russell is driving Mercedes, or is that a joke? No, that's that was confirmed. Yeah. Wow, isn't who, and, who isn't he driving, or wasn't he driving for Williams? Yeah, he's driving for Williams. So they so going in for Williams for his spot is Jack Aitken, who's this? He's either an F two or F three oh. driver. Okay, he's he's pretty good. He's he's an up and comer. Yeah. Um, and then the two Haas drivers got announced for next year. Oh, who's flying? Who's dri- not flying? Who's who's driving for Haas? Uh, Mick Schumacher. Mm-hmm. Um, which I I mean I wasn't around when Schumacher was dominating the sport, so I'm not really yeah. part of that whole like Schumacher craze thing. But basically, yeah. it's his son, you know. Yeah. Um, and then the other one is I forget his name, but he's an F2 driver, and he's very controversial. I'll just give you an example of one thing that he has done. There is a female F1 reporter who, as oh. soon as he was announced as the F1 driver for next year for Haas, she was like, "Oh, great! Maybe when I see him on the, maybe when I see him on the grid next year, he'll ask for my nudes again." Oh, <laughs> oh, joy! Yeah, and he's like, he's like punched other drivers because they got in his way during a practice lap, like what? just crazy stuff like that. Yeah. So he's not a good guy. Yeah. Well, hopefully it doesn't last very long. Yeah. I mean, it's Haas. I think he's a pay driver because he's like from Russia. So he probably gets a whole bunch of sponsorship and pay money just to have him on the team. Yeah. So that'll be interesting. That's cool. It's um. well, just to add context, Lewis Hamilton has already won the championship for this year. He has seven championships in total, which is tied for the most. He's won the last what? Th- he's won the last like six out of the last seven years of the championship. So he is just literally dominating the sport, and he dominates pretty much every weekend. He tested positive for COVID, so they so he's not going to be in the race. So now it's just like who's going to win? Yeah, <laughs> he yeah. knows anymore because the guy who always wins isn't there. Yeah, so. I read that article. It's crazy. It's going to be. You did gonna not. Be awesome. I did when it was announced. I went, oh, that's a guy. Oh, my uh, the freaking Formula One stuff has been dominant. It's like always pops up in Reddit all now. Yeah, so I just may because of. Wait, why? I don't know because it's popular. That's got to be filtered at least somewhat towards you, right? No, it's not. Really? Yeah. On 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 all. Yeah. On Reddit. Reddit yeah. all. Oh yeah, even. Even for me, I formula like I, that and formula dank pop up. Yeah, all formula the time. dank always pops up. I don't think I get formula dank. And I always go, I don't know what this means, but <laughs> it's uh you know, if you're only gonna watch one sport, it's it's very easy to watch because instead of like twenty different games having to keep track of, you just watch a one two hour event once every week or once every two weeks and you know everything about the sport basically yeah <laughs> like it's it's very easy to keep up with is what i'm trying to say zach i planted um, trees 
Yeah, I did too. It's just pine cones. You, do, you just pine cones. Yeah, in the you get seeds. They're pine cones. You just you plant out. the pine cones. I swear there used to be like dirt stuff. Yeah, I think so. Oh, uh, did you guys get anything for Black Friday? I already know uh, Will betrayed me on some monitors. I'm sorry. You betrayed him. I got four monitors for fifty bucks a piece. Wow. I uh, granted they're not crazy. I mean they're twenty one inches. Like so they're ten eighty p monitors. Yeah. Oh, and not. as long as they're not awful, then. Yeah. No, they're like business corporate monitors. Yeah, those are fine typically. Yeah. Is that where you hold all your business meetings? Yes. In your monitors? <laughs> My corporate monitors. Um, Zach, you get anything for Black Friday? Um, no. I uh, Shelby got a Roomba, so that's kind of been dominating. Uh -huh. Instead of just watching the baby all day, we just watch the baby and the Roomba all day. What are your impressions of the Roomba so far? So this is the the cheap model. This is this. It's usually three hundred bucks, and we got it for like one hundred and seventy bucks. Yeah, and, I think I had the same one. Yeah. And so it's it seems like it gets most of the upstairs, mm -hmm. uh, but it takes like an hour and a half to do it all. Yeah. But it's 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 nice to uh, because because we have a kid because we just are lazy and don't do vacuum much. It's nice to have the floors clean. So and it does it yeah. does an all right job. Um, yeah, I, I had a, a Yuffie, which is like an anchor yep. brand. Um, I had their cheap one for a year and it worked really well, but the problem was it eventually died and it was right out of warranty. Yeah. Um, so then I switched over to the one that you have. Um, I don't know if yours has the smart features. Cause I think the bottom two tier, like one has a smart and one doesn't. Yeah, no, we don't have, we, oh, we have the app. We can use the app, but it doesn't have. I don't know. Maybe I don't know what smart features. Yeah, yeah app, app support. That's what I. Yeah, mean. so it does have app support. Um, but it's funny because the the Roomba, it's I, I think it cleans about the same, if not a little bit better, but it's not as good as the Anchor one at going back home. Oh, I know. It 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 just like it, as far as I can tell, it just. I don't know if it ever goes home on its oh yeah we've had it for about we've had it for a week and it vacuums once a day and once so far it's made it back home yeah oh you know what it does it it, it will arbitrarily be like oh job done and then go yeah. home on its own but if its battery is low and the job's not done i think it will just die out in the open and yeah. then the other thing is if you tell it to go home at least for hours and we've tried it in several different spots. It is not as good at finding its way home. Whereas no. the anchor, the anchor would actually find its way home. It may take 10, 15 minutes if it's all the way across the house, but mm -hmm. it would get there and it would dock itself. So basically the Roomba, I have to babysit so much more because it will literally either end too soon or it will just not find its way home. So I have to constantly pick it up and put it on the dock. And it's so annoying. Yeah. I, it, it's not, it's not such a big deal for us because we're basically, we leave and it, it vacuums while we're away and mm -hmm. then when we come home we go find it wherever it went and put it on yeah and then put it on so then it's ready for the next day to, yeah. to go honestly my big problem with it is uh with maggie because uh she leaves too much stuff out on the floor all the time mm -hmm. <laughs> and like if if you have like charging cable or like clothes on yeah. the floor you can't really let it run because then it'll get it'll suck it up and it'll get stuck yeah, and, with yeah, kids' toys, baby toys, and stuff. That's like the thing I have to do now before I leave is like clean the floor. Yeah, which which Honestly, is nice because yeah. it's we're cleaning the floor, and so exactly. Yeah, but the I, problem is like for a while it was fine doing that, but something about Maggie, she just like does not get that concept, and she absolutely does not do it. So it's like I don't run it every day now because that requires me to go around and clean up after Maggie first. Yeah. And Oof. It's <laughs> um that's rough yeah but no i i like it it's nice um i've happened upon um so my job that i do three days a week is uh working for a cnc uh kind of kind of a cabinet making uh shop but not really we don't mm -hmm. do cabinets uh, but we're building speakers for a very high-end speaker company and 
I was there just kind of building something, and they're right next to us. And I was uh, hanging out, and the owner came over and said, hey, we're throwing out these speakers because the someone threw in the wrong drivers, so the wrong uh, speaker mm-hmm. parts. But he's like, so come grab some. And I was like, I can't afford them. He's like, you can't afford free? And so I ran over there, <laughs> and I got four tower speakers that each have like four woofers and – a couple tweeters and I basically need to go find from parts express the right speakers to put in there that are like anywhere from like 15 to $25 per speaker. But I have this cabinet that, I mean, I think it retails for 1500 to $2,000. And so I'm just like, okay. So he's like, grab as many as you want. And if you resell them, just take off our logo. So, I'm uh, super pumped. So I've been Googling nice. all this stuff and talking to one of the engineers there about what I need. Yeah. And it's just, I got to take out a multi, I got to take out all the drivers and test the ohm rating of them mm-hmm. to make, to see. Cause I guess the guy who was, who built them, who's long since been fired, uh, would just grabbing anything off the shelf and being like, Oh, this looks like the same speaker as the one I have in my hand. Oh, and wow. So they're all, and so I guess they blew up some customers' receivers because they were the wrong impedance. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, so I got two sets, and Will, if you uh, pay me a lot of money, you can have a set too. Oh, sweet. I'll take a set. Yeah. I've been thinking about when we eventually move next year. But I, well, like, I got a great TV now, but I really need a better home audio experience. Mm hmm. So I've been trying to figure out what I what I want to do with that. Oh yeah, I really like my soundbar. Yeah, but you're in, you're in a small space. That's true. So it works perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out. We we're starting well soon. We're gonna start looking for a new place, and that'll be fun to figure stuff out. Major priority oh, yeah. is better internet. Yes, which would be nice. You gonna stay uh, near Jersey City? Yeah, we're probably gonna go a little bit north, but uh, just somewhere quieter. That's not as like constant people driving around with loud music. Oh, that's my favorite. And like people screaming. Yeah. Um, but yeah, should be fun. Nice. Oh, I found a treasure map, guys. Woo. All right, so tomorrow we're going to go to the trader? Yeah. I think there's zombies in... Oh, yep. There's zombies in the uh, giant brewery kegs. What are those called? Vats. Uh, Vats. There's zombies in them. No, that's from Fallout. Oh, uh, you're right, you're right. <laughs> um... Actually, this segues uh, our speaker talk and audio home audio stuff is segues into a conversation that I was going to bring up. Um, Will, this is your intervention. No, um, <laughs> Warner Brothers just announced that all the movies in 2021 that they are releasing will be released to theaters and HBO Max simultaneously. Mm-hmm. And so I have a projector with 5.1 surround sound. There. are the speakers could be better. And that's why I'm glad I have these new ones. And I've got a 139 inch screen because I am yeah. blowing it up at 1080p. And so for me, it's kind of cheating because when I say, Oh, well then I'm never going to go to the movie theater ever again. Cause I don't need that. But for you guys, what constitutes like, do you guys like the movie theater? Like, is there, are the reasons you go besides wanting to see the most recent movie mm, or, or nowadays- if you had the option, to stay at home and watch the same thing that's everyone yeah. else is seeing in theaters. I mean, I, th- I think you, I think you hit the nail on the head where for me, I only go to the movies over the last couple, actually, you know, I'm going to say the last five or six years, ever since I had like a good TV, that's my own. It's like, I only go to the movies to see something that is exclusive to the theaters. And I want to see it in a timely manner. Other than that, it's yeah. like, I'll just stay home and watch it. Yeah. That's, you know? That's how I feel. Even watching a movie on my phone, just the whole movie theater experience is just becoming more and more of a, God, I sound like a homebody, but just a hassle. And especially after the pandemic and being like, 
like, oh, the, the movie theater is really dirty. Um, yeah. It's it's much nicer. It's like, do it in your own home. I so agree. I'm trying to. Th- I was trying to think of of, a, of of something like, like it would have to be a really big IMAX release to get me out of the house. If if I could get the same movies on on HBO Max or streaming. Yeah. Yeah. But also the HBO I, Max thing is only a month too, which is a long amount of time. But they're well, also getting rid of they, since they release it. So it's not a month delay. It's it's you have a month to watch it before it goes away. Right, that's what I mean. Um, yeah, but I, I don't think that's a big downside in a way. No, yeah. but they all no. also are getting rid of free trials so people don't abuse that. That's oh, I mean, I feel like HBO Max is, is a really good value anyways. Yes, and I know someone that has it so I can just use theirs. Who would that person be? I don't know, but all I know is that person's been stealing my Netflix for 20, for 10 <laughs> years. <laughs> that's true. Um, I actually, I told our mutual friend who works at Netflix, and he goes, "What's your account?" So I shut him down. <laughs> <laughs> I um, um, I like HBO ahead. Max a lot. They have a lot of good movies on it. They have all the Ghibli movies. Um, they have a, they have a lot of like crappy movies, like old crappy movies. That is pretty great yeah. too. Um, Plus the uh, the HBO back catalog, like. I don't. I'm not the type of person that has HBO all the time. I'll just get it for a couple months at a time, and then watch something I want to watch, but I haven't seen. You know, like The Wire or Rome or something. Mm-hmm. So it's like right now I'm watching The Sopranos. It's old, but I've never seen it, and it's on HBO Max. And like we watch Curb Your Enthusiasm. Before that, it's like they have that huge back catalog plus the extra stuff on top. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's it was weird seeing that news because. There were a lot of people who were like, you know, they really hated the decision because they were like, this is going to kill movie theaters. And I'm like, I don't don't know that it's going to kill movie theaters. And the other thing is people acting like the movie theater is some glorious grand experience. And that's the the best way or the only way to truly watch a movie. It's like, get off your high horse. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we have good enough TVs and sounds and i've been to plenty of theaters that are not set up properly where they either have the sound too low the sound too high it's too bass heavy the screen's not set up right the screen has tears or distortions on it that it's just like it's fine to watch it at home now and then the yeah. other thing is that like the whole theater industry they've ramped it up so much especially with blockbusters doing well that all that box office money has led to like hurt for indie cinema because now studios only want to make hundreds of millions of dollars big budget established ip movies yeah Mm -hmm. and if you get rid of that big box office money the budgets are going to come down and when the budgets come down they're going to be a little bit riskier with what movies they green light so i I think overall it's good i don't think cinemas are going to die out this is this. I think this is a good thing yeah. overall. Yeah. The other thing was like, for a while now, the only time I would go to the movies is like, oh, I'm gonna go to a movie because they're showing uh, an older movie in 35, and it's like Alamo Draft yeah. House, where like I can sit and enjoy a meal, and I know they're like yeah. more semi, they're more serious about the film experience than a Regal or AMC, mm-hmm. so I can kind of like trust them a little bit more. Yeah. Um, Although, um, I I agree with that experience. I. I, I've been to Alamo Draft House three or four times. I, honestly, I I don't like it. Um, I don't mind it. the The one I actually the, was go that the night sound? Yes, that was the oh, night yeah. sound. I'm gonna go inside. Okay. The one I do like a lot. There's one in Brooklyn. There's the syndicated bar, which is yeah. it's it's just a privately oh. owned type. Um, where did you die? We need some better interests because I missed the jump and I immediately died on the spikes. Oh <laughs> yeah. Um. So here's my problem with the Alamo Draft House, right? They're very, they're they're a bit snotty and snobbish about like, don't talk during the movies, don't do your cell phone, we're gonna kick you out. And I appreciate that, except for the fact that they have people running through the theater the entire freaking movie, and there's people eating food. And like one time I got there and I ordered food and it came with chips, so I'm just eating tortilla chips in the middle of a movie, being so freaking loud. And it's like you're not gonna kick me out for this, but if I take my cell phone out, you're gonna kick me out. Not that I want to take my cell phone out, but 
somebody eating tortilla chips is way more distracting. And then a waiter running back and forth. And then the house <laughs> lights being partially on the whole time. It's like, it's like shove it up, shove it. You know what I mean? It's like you either love the movie if you don't. And if you're serving food and having waiters running through the movie theater the entire time, then you don't appreciate the movie. Whew. I'm sorry. It's just like, wow. come on. Now. I just like Ooh. eating while watching a movie. So I, I'm fine with that, but that's like me eating. Like, I'll do that at home, but how am I supposed to concentrate on the movie when there's waiters running around and there's people all around me eating, you know? Yeah, you know, so it's like... It's having a movie there at your house. You don't have to deal with that. I know, it's great, isn't it? It's the best. Did we set up a door yet or no? I just got to chance uh, it. No, not yet. You just gotta jump. Oh, okay, I'm in. Found a lot of stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, it's just like that's my that's my thing about Alamo Draft House is like like Cinemark and some other theaters they start they serve food now, but they they're not so snotty and snobbish about it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I do like, like I went and saw Blazing Saddles a couple of years ago with my father in the theaters because we both love that movie. And I was like, that was a great experience. You know, we saw Borat together opening night and the whole theater was rolling. It's like, that's great stuff. The theater still has a place. There's still movies you want to see in the theater. But I think having better access at home is is good. Yeah. Honestly, though, the most upsetting thing about it, though, is the Dune release date was originally December 18th, 2020. Mm -hmm. And now, now it's October 1st. Yeah, something like that. And now they're saying they, they delayed it presumably because of COVID. And now they're saying, well, we're going to release it day and date digitally anyways. So why don't you just. I know it's not this easy, but why can't you just go back to the original release date? I want to see no, the movie, just, man. I know just, that was yeah. when they announced the news. I was like, oh, does that mean Dune's coming out the 18th? But no. Um, Honestly, I don't think that I don't think that movie is going to be good. What What about you, Will? Like having read the book recently, and then seeing the trailers now, how are you feeling? Um, I think the movie is going to be good. I, I really want to watch the Lin David Lynch one. Um, yeah. I was watching some of the the trailer to that uh, Jorodowski one that didn't get made. Uh, Yodorowsky's Dune, which is crazy yeah. because he essentially assembled the team that made some of the greatest sci fi movies. <laughs> And then yep. never got his movie made. Um, yep. Like he gave Geiger his start and everything, which is crazy. Um, I think it'll be good. I think I think they'll do a pretty good job. Yeah. I, I think my, my two main concerns are a lot of that book and a lot of the series is like very mystical mm -hmm. in a way that is convoluted. And also there's a whole lot of like interior monologue slash like describing what a character is feeling or thinking in their past as opposed to action within the scene. Yeah. So I'm afraid that without a lot of that, it's not going to be super clear what's going on in the story. And then the, I think the other problem is with the design that they've done. Um, you should watch Lynch's Dune because it, it's not great, but it's, it's still pretty good. They nail like, I don't want to say they nail, but they go over the top with a lot of their design stuff. Yeah. Um, and like, for example, there's like the Atreides green, right? Isn't it green? Is it like their house color? I think so. It's either, yeah, it's I think it is blue. green. Um, and so they're supposed to have like their armor is green and they wear these like regal uniforms in green and stuff. And then you watch the trailer for the 2020 Dune and it's just like, there is no color. It's just brown. It's just like brown and black and gray. And it's like, no style you look at their armor that they're wearing and they're wearing like sneakers <laughs> for their shoes it's yeah like it's a lot of dune is is just that weird fantasy style to it that sci-fi fantasy and and the new dune doesn't have that it barely has that and that's very worrisome to me is that it just looks like a boring brown movie um yeah so those are kind of the two main things that make me worried Yeah, I th I think it'll turn out good. I mean, also like we've only gotten the first trailer. Um, yes. Yeah, there could be a lot more. Yeah. Uh, it's just it's a man. It's a tough story to tell in a movie. 
you know. Yeah, it's a weird um, story. There was a there was a mini series in the mid two thousands that was on Sci Fi that is supposed yes. to be very good that I need to watch. I um, I think that for that Dune stream I wanted to do, I think that's the game I settled on playing because it's the only one that's not an RTS. And the only one that's, like, easy to play. Yeah. Well, actually, no, the first one is a point-and-click adventure, so I might play that one a little bit. But, yeah, other than uh, that, everything was an RTS. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, boy. Which I, I, I um, could... I feel like Dune would make a good 4X game. Or, like, a... Oh yeah. Man, like a Twilight Imperium. Well, do you know about the Dune board game? The new one? That was re- yeah, but that's just the planet, re-issue. right? Yeah, but the way it works is that they they did really cool things where like each person represents like a family or a guild. Oh, that's cool. And they the rules are slightly different for each person and the mechanics are internested. So for example, every round has an auction phase where there's like three items face down and everybody bids how much money they would pay for each item. And whoever bids the most gets that item, right? And then the item helps you in the game. But the thing is that that money doesn't go into a pot. So there's like one person who their secret power is they can look at all three cards and know what they are. And then there's another person who their secret power or slash their role is that when people bid for the cards, whoever wins, they pay that person because they're the quote unquote merchant. So it's like this crazy game where people were talking about they're like, oh, you know, I know the cards, so I'll try and I'll tell this person what it is to get them to bid it up, but I may be lying for them to get more money. But at the same time, I got to be careful because if they pay too much for it, then it's really going to go to this other guy, but he could be my ally. So maybe I want to raise the bids. So all these like nested mechanics like that, oh, that that's play into cool. the do and stuff. Um, so yeah, it could be, but apparently it's very punishing. It's the type of game where if you don't play it right, or you make a mistake early, you're, you're never going to recover. Do you ever play, do you ever look into that eclipse game? I think it's similar to Twilight Imperium, but like you build the map as you play and like this discover oh, like I don't think I did. Yeah, I, I remember looking into it. I, I don't know much about it, so I wasn't sure if you knew more. Do you guys have any duct tape or short iron pipe? Uh, yes, I have iron pipe on me and I have duct tape in one of the chests to the left. I think was where I was dropping iron. it. I'll come drop it up there. I need some uh, food. Yeah, I'm just I only have hockey. one duct tape. I'm trying to make a forge right now. Oh, sweet. And all yeah, I, need, the duct- I need three duct tape. The duct tape and I put there's in. There's three duct tape was... in this, this chest sack. Which one? Right this here? One right here, yeah. Duct tape. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I'm still in the leather, too. Yeah, there's no two short iron pipe in this chest that I'm in. Perfect. Thank you. I need to take some corn to eat. We should set up uh, a garden too. Yeah. Yes. The sequel. That's what I'm trying to do. I think once we have the forge and we have iron, then I can make the hoe. I think maybe. How dare you? I'm clearing out like all these rooms of like all the junk and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I need three more leather. Um, I think I'm about to get leather. Ooh. Uh, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm gonna drop you some leather. Did Sweet. you read? You can plant plants in topsoil. Oh, you can. It... I thought you had to. No, is that what it I says? It I couldn't remember what soil. you what you read. No, it was like you need to take topsoil, hit it with a gardening hoe and fertilizer to make okay. it like fertilized, okay. cultivated soil. I I just uh, made a bunch of topsoil because I had stuff. So I'm gonna dig out an area. And uh, plant all that. Oh, I. Where I do you food. want the forge? You want it downstairs? Yeah, let's do building stuff down here. Yeah. Okay. Or do you want to do it up the f- up a floor so at night? Well, no, I think we're gonna be safe enough. Yeah, I think we'll be safe enough. Um, are we safe right now from day seven, or do we still got stuff to do? I mean, other than finishing the moat. Um, we'll be pretty good. We should just like get ammo. Mm-hmm. And oh, we should we... find like a cook pot and all that sort of stuff, and just start getting okay. more set. Mm. 
still hungry. They're still coming through. Uh, George, George Lucas. Oh, Will, you should turn the brightness up on your game. Oh, it's yeah. It's really dark on stream. Is it really? It doesn't seem that dark. I mean, when I go outside, it's dark. Yeah. Not too bad. Do 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 Yeah, I turn my brightness all the way up. I turn the elevator up. It's actually very bright at 100%. Let's go. There we go. That's better. All I want to do is finish this moat and a and a bang. Hair toss, check my nails. Baby, how you feel? Feeling good as hell. What do I need to make? Forged. Let's see what. Oh boy. Axe. This what pavement to get rid of it on? is at 1500. Oh, I need a bell bellows. I need the bell end. Hello. So I'm going to make a very small. Oh, what is this easier over here? Oh, this is only 500 here. Okay, so we'll make it over here. So what, do like a 5x5, five five, you think? For now? Well, I, I, think, I think it has to be along this. This is 500, this is 2,500. Oh, okay, so let's let's just cut this whole thing. Yeah. Uh, let's just repair. I have robotic turret ammo I can build because I learned that. Yeah, me too. I don't know why. Um, so that, that just gets me excited that we can get robotic turrets eventually. Can you can you put top slow down then there? Uh, let me check. You want to try it? It's in. Oh, well, I can't really tell. Let's break this one too. I've got a cooking it? pot cooking right now. What is it doing? You know what? Honestly, I think the easier option is we push the fence out at some part. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I or don't mind mining this out. out outside the fence. I think I think it'll take too much effort and time. I think if we just build the garden next to the fence, I and mean, we can also just build, build it on the roof too. It. Oh, put top side down. Yeah. You want to try that? Yeah, let me go up there. Move our beds. I picked up my bedroll. Gonna this make a cooking so, grill too. Looks so wonky. This topsoil. Yeah, because it plants it like diamonds. I don't know why. Yeah, this isn't bad, right? Yeah, I think we do it up here. Then I, I think we have to. Well, what what version is this? Alpha 19. Maybe I'm getting the wrong information. Let me see if I can. We're in Alpha 19.2. Seven days to die. Alpha 19 gardening. Alpha 19 farming. Uh, if you guys ever get oil or clay, or not oil, iron or clay, throw it in the forge i'm taking iron out of your guys's chests yeah i think i have some in me oh, you've got forged iron okay. yeah i had 300 iron on me yeah well, how do i put it in the 
So press E and then over in the smelting. I see. I'm going, what? You have 5,000 clay, Ian. Yeah, I, there was some pallet somewhere <laughs> that I went through. But also he was digging. <laughs> oh, that's true. What's down here? Um, oh, that's what I was going to say. It was during our discussion. My uh, The treasure map I found leads to... Uh, is on the way to the trader. Oh, we cool. need a farm, a farm plot. Oh, I can make farm blocks, I believe. It's like wood, rotting flesh, nitrate powder, and clay soil. Gotcha. So not that dirt up there? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. So you create the farm plot, and then you place it, and then you craft or gather the seeds, and then you place it in there. But I don't know how to get nitrate powder. I've got tons of nitrate powder. Yeah, I found a bunch. Heck yeah. Yeah, I've got Williams too. Oh, all Williams right. So, well, if you just want to handle the farming, then on the roof. Okay, I'll we do need it all. Rotting flesh. I've got tons of clay soil. Rotting flesh. I think Daytime. we get from bodies. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the moat. Uh, yeah. When do we want to head to? Uh... Oh yeah, we should probably do that now, right? Might as well. God, these stupid spikes. You hurt yourself? Again. Yeah. Well, when you leave, go out the main area. Is there a main way? Well, like oh, the yeah, main gate, you can just up. fall. I need to well, do this. going back in that I missed the, the jump. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll work on that when we get back. All right, I'm going to go drop off some stuff, and then I will... Are we going to the trader, you said? Yeah. yeah. And we're stopping for a treasure on the way. Well, I think... Oh, the treasure is on the way? Yeah. Yeah, okay. What does the clay in the thing make, Zach? Uh, it just helps make stuff. Oh. I'm very hungry. I should probably I eat something. I have lead, too, I found. I have a flashlight and Oh, I have a uh, cooking pot so we can cook stuff now. Oh. Nice. Dope. Put this upstairs in the campfire. Does anyone know how to get rid of the uh quick waypoint? Can't seem to do it. No. Okay, you all ready? Yeah, give me a second. I just need to cook some food real quick because I am starving. Um, what? Shared a waypoint with you guys called Treasure. Uh, I don't... Oh, you know what? Oh, you have to click on it to get it to show up, I guess. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I see it. Treasure. It's, on, it's to the left. Right. How do you That's get it to show up in the, in the world? Or I guess you don't. Yeah, I, I can't get it. Okay, let's go, boys. Yeah, it'll just be on your compass at the top. No, it's not on mine. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, we go to shared waypoints, we click on it. Oh, oh, click save waypoint. And then it'll show up. Like oh, yeah. Select it. Yeah. Now, that's what I call dumb 2020. I'm going to start making spikes on the way. Oh, that's smart. I can't. Just keep an eye out for uh, bird's nest. Mm-hmm. Well, that'll be what I do. Oh, instead. chicken. Chicken. Chicken cob corn. The corn cob chicken.
My character's hungry again. Help me kill this chicken. Spooky house. Gotcha. I should have made a bone knife. Got lots of feathers from that chicken. Oh, smart. Somebody yeah, your head exploded, me. bro. Look at this weird exploded house. Searching trash piles. At least there's a nice little trail. I think the first time we did this, the trader it sends you to was like 10 kilometers. Ooh, what's this rock? Might be iron. Whoa. Yeah, Watch it's out iron. for landmines. Where landmines? In case. Oh, oh I thought it was in... a military base. No, nah, it's not military. Oh, is this one of those dog ones? Those are the worst. Oh, there is. There, there are dog houses. Yeah. Should we just avoid this? Yeah, I ain't touching this. I'm going to the. Although treasure. I think if we loot those bodies, we get a lot of stuff. We can hit it on our way back. Yeah, let's do way back. Also, I'm low on health, so maybe not. Yeah. I hate to die out here. Oh, this is nitrate here. I can take this. I think this is new since we played. Yeah. Man, that uh, the grass like moving for a second sounds like a creeper. Yes. Yeah. And I had like a flashback. Back to Mobile home. home. Getting close. Zombie in the Zombie street. On the road. Get off the road. Got him. <laughs> wow. Holy cow. Brain exploded. More nitrate. Oh, it looks oh like and then there's there's, ore. there's ore below it as well. That's that's cool. Ooh, iron. Very close now, y'all. Did you guys bring your shovels? Yeah. It's Sorry, it's a little ways over. Oh, there's a big circle for me. Oh, I don't have a circle. This is the center of the circle. Where I'm digging. How big is the circle? Uh, it goes to here. On both, I mean, it's the same distance away. This is the radius. Yeah. How far down do you think we need to dig? Ooh, I don't remember. I swear it was like one or two blocks down.
Yeah, the treasure tracker perk gets you closer and closer. Uh, actually, at least it was back then. So, like, the circle would be smaller. Yeah. You find it, Zach? No. I'm trying to build a shovel. Oh, it just told me I was getting closer. And I'm over here. Where are you? Right here. I dug and it made a gold coin sound. It said you're getting closer. So I guess it could have been any one of us. Oh, I feel like it must have been you. I'm going to repair this. I went back to where I was digging, so let me know if it pops something. Uh, that's the edge of the circle right there, Zach. Okay. I'm going back to where I was digging. Wow, you're like deep down up there. Oh, just told me again. Did someone just... I, I think, broke. I think it's me. Pretty sure it's me. I don't know. I broke right when it said it. Ran out of stamina. Oh, it scared me. Circle shortening? That's the edge of the circle. Am I out of the circle, Will? Um, where are you? Yes, uh, you're literally at the edge of it. Ah, dang it, I didn't mean to craft another one. This is going to be the whole rest of the stream. Yep. This is, this is frustrating. Oh, just told me I was getting closer again. You're heading in that direction, so. I heard something. I just Did hit stone. Oh, okay. Rock and stone. What in tarnation? Oh, I almost killed both of you, I think. Jack, that's the edge right there. No, oh, I need to repair. Oh, wrong thing. How big is this circle? Not very big. Uh, go a little bit out this way, but your guys are pretty much at the edge over there. So this is just the center. Oh, just told me I was getting closer again. Oh, the circle's getting smaller? Yeah, it is getting smaller on this side. That's weird. Every time that thing goes off. Oh, watch out. There may be a cave-in. 
I love how it's going to be like just right below the surface. Yeah, the circle like moves over. So it's moved towards me every time we've done the getting closer thing. Oh, I, have you guys done this before? It Yeah. It was different uh, though. Only like I there wouldn't be a circle. Oh. It would just show like it would blink faster yeah. on your compass the closer you were. Oh, okay. Just kind of actually. I wonder annoying. if it's some weird thing where you got to dig a certain amount and then it'll. I hope not. So where's the center of the circle now? Center of the circle now is right here. Keep running out of stamina. <sighs> oh, just got closer again. Circles a little bit more over this way, so it's just probably got to be over is here. It, is it changing size, the circle? I can't. I, I think it's gotten smaller. I can't tell because it's half of it's over all that uneven ground. I don't yeah. think it has, though. Oh, I'm thirsty. Drink some water. Uh-oh. What did that just... Inef oh, efficient digestion. Ooh. That's the edge of the circle, uh, Zach. Or Ian. Okay. I'm I'm watching Will on the stream so I can see. Oh, let me go stand up so you guys can see it. Yeah. I jumped a couple times. Yeah, it does seem a little smaller. Do you like how it's moved over? Yeah. So Weird. down here is the center. Yeah. It's going to be like nothing in it. Yeah. Oh, I got to get in closer. Zombie. Zombie. Yeah, I think it's definitely yeah. has gotten smaller. Oh, found it. And it's finally. Oh, I've got lock picks. Want to try to unlock it? Yeah, I just needed to. Yeah, why is it not? Yeah, hold on. 15 seconds. Jeez, that has a lot of health. All right. Broke it. Luckily, I've got more. Oh, it broke it again. Zombies. Three oh. zombies. Uh-oh. We'll hold them off, Zach. Hey. Oh my goodness! Come on. Oh, there, there's zombies. a couple zombies. There's five zombies. Six zombies. I got it unlocked, but I'm, I'm gonna come run. Jeez. 
Yeah, I don't know if it was finding the chest, but I came up and there was just like... Oh, I bet it was finding the chest, yeah. They just kind of hey. came shambling in. I'm just going to grab oh. everything. How? I was like six feet away from them and they got me. What's in there, Zach? There was uh, casino tokens and some bullets. Should I bring casino tokens with me? Except for the trader? Yeah, I think they work at the trader. Okay, because I think I had some in my... I got 19 health, 18 health. Pretty sure you can see me physically moving away from the zombies when I fight them. Like I lean forward and then lean back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to boogie towards you guys. Got him. Okay, they're all dead. All right. Uh, you guys want to meet at? Oh no, I got to get my backpack. Yeah, there's yeah, we'll exploding here. Oh. Hopefully, it won't take me that long. I'm gonna repair all my gear. I got a bunch of skill points. Oh, my character's very hungry. Yeah, me too. You guys can loot that nearby house. It's going to take me a couple minutes to get to you. Oh, sweet. I just... I didn't even... Oh, no, I didn't do that. I'm doing the guard, the living off the land perks to uh, get some better stuff. Where'd you go, Zach? I went down here. I'm just going to eat corn. Corn. I'm going to eat some raw potatoes. No, I wanted blueberries. Yeah, I'll drop them for you. They're on the ground. Thanks. Playing. Oh. He's gonna drop an oh. airdrop. Yeah, I saw it. It is. Yeah, it's yeah. Oh, it's on our compass. Yeah, I turned that nice. on. Yep, it's 400 meters away. I'm gonna go run okay. to it. I think we can hit that on the way to the trader. Yep. Oh. Okay, I'm not too far from you guys. 300 meters. Okay, I'm gonna head towards the drop as well. Yeah. I hope there's food. Me too. I ate a bunch of blueberries. Oh, blueberries. 10.03. Okay, so we'll get to the trader oh. and then we'll probably sign off. Well, trader and then back. I oh, think. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we should keep playing. No. Hours. <laughs> I gotta go to bed. Man, I get so tired early now. It annoys me and I'm okay with it. But it's like I'll get in bed and read, and like 11 o'clock, I'm like, I don't even know if I can keep my eyes open. That's me at 9.30. Ugh. Oh, man. Uh, good book alert. Read Howl's Moving Castle, uh, the book the movie is based on. That's a and, movie, you idiot. And uh, although the movie and uh, book are quite different, that book was good, and that is that is the book... Like, it, it, The Hobbit's in the same territory. That is a book I would read to my kid and, like, feel good about reading it. 
I I don't know quite how to explain it, but like it's just like a lovely little story that makes you feel good, and you're like, oh, this is great. It's very well written. The prose is really good. Oh, there's food. Oh, I need to watch the movie and read the book. Here, well, I'll let you take the rest of it. Thanks. Yeah, I'm good on food since I respawn. Uh, yeah, you should. Uh, I can let you borrow the book. Uh, the second book, Ooh. Castle in the Air, which is not related to the Ghibli movie Castle in the Sky, uh, is what I'm reading now, and uh, that's quite good as well. And uh, she wrote some other stuff too. I mean, she wrote a lot of other stuff, but um, there's some other stuff that sounds pretty good. And there were a couple first aid kits in there. Hi, y'all. Hey, oh, I got buddy. a Yucca seed. Still need more food. We can buy some at the trader. True. Let's head over there. Oh, I'm already there. Oh, really? Almost there. No. No, he's not. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, he is. Zach, are you really you really yeah, entered 60 the meters away from the trader? Yeah. Mine's pointing me to a different settlement. It's a oh, you're not going to this trader over here? No, it didn't point me in that one. It's pointing me at a different one. Weird. Well, see you later. I trade over here. A dope bird's nest. Still hungry. Trader shooting at the zombie. No, that was me shooting at him. Oh, I could buy oh, so there's a many zombie in here. I know. I let a zombie in here. I don't like it when you do that, Zach. Well, they're not the boss. It's okay, I killed them. Man, these sledgehammers are good. Ooh, splints. Dirty glasses. May I see your inventory? Hi, y'all. Oh, I can't because Zach's with him. Buying some potatoes. I forget what these things over here are. Here, I'll let you go. Thank you. Oh, we got jobs. Oh, they have a bunch of candles, Ian. Those are good for lighting up the base. Woo! How do I sell things? Oh, an idiot. You don't. Forty-one. I can afford the charred meat. Shit, man. I treat you that good, and you don't even fucking hit me. Hey, that guy just said both the no-no words. Hey, can we kill this guy and break in? No. That was a bad idea. Is it though? <gasps> There's a chicken outside. He's mine. Guys, how do I sell items? You gotta talk to them, and then you click on the item in your inventory, and then it has like the sell thing, but only certain items you can sell. Oh, I can't sell the casino token.
Why am I getting... Oh, am I too close that it's warning me for breaking things near him? Probably. That's funny. Anyways, what y'all... Let's go back? Yeah, let's head back. I got some meat to cook. Oh, got some my bed. Boys to cook. Jeez. None of your whistling voice. <laughs> Crafting I some love arrows. This spear. Yeah, this I really like the sledgehammer. It like explodes the heads. <gasps> Another chicken. <gasps> There's a moose. There's a moose? Yeah, you see it? Right in front of me. Oh, yeah. We should kill it. Oh, Moose! Hit him. Moose! I Wait, let it, let it sit still and hit it with arrows. It's an elk, too, guys. Elk too? Is that like a better elk? It'll it'll calm down after a bit and stand still. Yeah, I'm just going back to base. Sneak up on it. Base. No, it's gonna have a bunch of like bone and leather and stuff. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Got a bunch of bone and leather. There's a fast food restaurant over here. That'll have a bunch of food and leather. Daddy likes leather. Hit him twice now. Called FF. Is there a drop in these arrows? Oh yeah, definitely. It's pretty. It's pretty nasty. Ooh, I just got a good magazine. Man, I keep finding magazines. Come on, settle down now. Metal chain lock. Oh, I keep hitting it. I've hit it three times now. Yeah, I've hit it once now. Ooh, Bob's Cafe. Gotta have food there. Careful, we got a zombie on our left. Yeah. Apparently, this is the elk's house. <laughs> I live here now. Chicken too. The chicken has a bunch of feathers if you kill it. Oh, why are you running? Oh no. There's no food in this cafe. God. We're pretty this is bad the worst. This. I'm glad I'm not attempting to film you guys doing it. Oh, God. Oh, yay. 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 Okay, I'm going to get the elk. Poopy pants yeah, that daycare. Chicken, that chicken corpse got me. Oh, got the, got the elk. The chicken got me 16 feathers. Okay, hold on. Can I make a knife right now? Oh, you I need some a... bones. Need a bone. Oh, you know what? I think I think I may have enough. I have enough. So let me let me use this okay. bone knife. This is supposed to give me a bit more loot. 
I wish I don't think there's a way to like do animal husbandry, but I wish you could. Yeah, that gave me a bunch more stuff. Real gross. Um, when we get back, I'll, I'll dump the extra bone and stuff so you can make a bone knife as well. Sweet. You also have an arrow in you because I shot you. <laughs> wow. Just in case you yeah, were 32 bone, 3 animal fat, 8 leather off that. Ooh. I do love leather. Daddy loves leather. Wow, that sounded like a game effect, Zach. It did. It was very... Come here, chicken. Yeah, you dead, boy. Oh, My stamina is so cool. low because I'm so hungry. They, did you put the cook pot in, Zach, at the house? Yeah. Okay, cool. I need to cook food. ASAP Rocky. What is this? Lead? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you mining it? I was, but my belly hurts. You know what they say? Lead a horse to water. They'll drink. I don't get it. Beautiful, Will. It's a poem by T.S. Eliot. T.S. Eliot? Elliot. <laughs> Will, are you thinking about reading the other Dune novels? Uh, no, not now. Maybe in a couple hundred uh, years when I'm bored. Yeah, it's it's tough to say if they're worth it or not. It's more of the same, just as good, but just as also like long-winded and convoluted in a way. Yeah. I heard the uh, ones by the not, not Frank Herbert are actually very... Are, are, are not His actually son. that bad. No, uh, like yeah. Kevin J. Anderson. Oh. And there's Check another it. guy. His son's Brian, right? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's I'm his have son. To read and at least Kevin. one of theirs, because basically, like the second trilogy, he didn't finish, and then his son came along and finished it with another guy. Gross. Hey, someone left the fire going. Me. You're welcome. We're making charred meat. Could you make filet mignon? Hiya, Beatrice. Oh. Man, oh, that bone great. knife oh, gave me 23 feathers from one chicken. Gobble, gobble. It's good stuff. I need two eggs. Dang it. Now, if we if we find some eggs, we can throw them at the ground and make more chickens. Yeah. Which is going to be great. You know, I I. it's not until you play other games that you realize, like, the graphical simplicity of Minecraft because that makes understanding stuff a lot easier. If yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, I see home. You are almost there. I was going to knock down this antenna, but that's way too much work right now. Yeah. Plus, how, it could fall um, and hurt us. how do I make farm plot again? Uh, I've uh, got if a you just search it in the crafting window, I It'll forgot you the search ingredients. All right, I'm going to dump a bunch of stuff. Nitrate, for you. flesh, wood. I need more rotting flesh. That's why. Let's see, leather, animal fat, bunch of raw meat. I got 49 raw meat. Oh, throw it in the fire. They got potatoes. 
do we put clay in the in the forge as well or no? Yes. Oh uh, yeah, clay in the forge, Anyone but we have, have so much clay. Rotting flesh. Um I did. I think it's disappeared. Yeah, I've got 16 rotting flesh in my chest. Okay, I'll take it. Cuz I need to make Oh, actually I need taking some clay from How do I use this? I uh, use recipes on the right and craft with it. Oh, okay, gotcha. I got wood spike traps. Um, oh, we got that tiny little forge. He's talking about the cute. It's right. a little cute one. I don't need. Should I read this? Oh, so we're making up. What are we making? Forged iron? Yeah. Because then I can make pickaxes. We get it, cat. We understand your plight. Oh, I, I made a candle. I'm proud of you. How do I put it down? Oh, there we go. I have a rock, a rocket. If you guys need it, Ooh, I can't red use rocket. It. What did you expect? Huh? What did you expect? Hey, Will, do you want your college jacket? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay, I'm scrapping it. I dropped out, so. Yeah, we knew you were gonna. Well, I'm gonna craft a bone knife. You know, I'm dying a lot. I feel like I should make some more. Oh, I also have boots if anyone needs them. Oh, sweet. Oh, duct tape is just glue and cloth fragment? Zach, can yes. I get the rotting flesh from your crate, please? Yeah, go right ahead. Thank you. Rotting flesh. More than good. Oh, I'm not Master Chef, so I can't cook things. Yeah, I, I gotta grab that perk. They're great. There's so many skills to choose from. Which one do I do? Oh, yeah. It shows you all the magazines you read, too, which is very helpful. Oh, and which one? That's interesting. Ooh. Yeah, we'll go with that guy. Okay, what do you boys uh figure we call it a stream here? Yeah, maybe just yeah, let's do a slow outro. Um folks, thank you for tuning in. Uh we are Subpixel. Uh well, I haven't thanked you for being part of it yet. We are Subpixel. If you'd like to see more of our content, you can check out subpixelfilms.com. That'll bring you right to our YouTube channel. If you want to watch more live streams? That is right here on our Twitch. Our Twitch, we stream uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Saturday, I'm not quite sure what we're doing. Ian, do you know what we're doing? Yeah, we're going to be playing more Seven Days to Die. We're going to be playing more Seven Days to Die, probably. 9 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. And I can stay up a little bit later that day. That'll be fun. Until then, I have been Will. You can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. That has been Ian. Ian, where can people find you on the internet? 
You can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson. And also joining me was Zach. Zach, where can people find you? You can find me at my company page, Shopside LLC, on Instagram, where you can purchase amazing products. <laughs> Hashtag ad. Um, until then, have a lovely evening. Lovely rest of your night times. Are you boys ready to ready to wave? Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.